hello good day viewers i would like to create two videos in this session the first one is to create a very simple radical equation and in the second video is to provide a solution to the first equation formed to see whether we are going to arrive at what we have started with okay let's get started this is our first video um creating a radical equation we expect square roots right roots so I would like to start with something very nice, which is a numerical expression. It definitely equal to it. No doubt about it. So I would like to break the left hand side into two pieces. Um, we know that it can be expressed as what? 3 plus 5. This remain equal to it. No doubt about it. And um, square root of 9 is the same thing as 3 so we can replace this with square root of 9 then 5 is the same thing as square root of 25 and this remain equal to it no doubt about it uh, but I can confidently change this 8 into square root of 64 64 they are all the same right square root of 64 is 8 square root of 9 is 3 square root of 25 is 5 3 plus 5 is 8 8 equal to 8 our expression is still balanced then I know that um, 9 can be expressed as 17 minus 8 right is it yeah 17 minus 8 so I can write this one confidently as 17 minus 8 plus um, 17 plus 8 is 25 so we have 17 plus 8 this is equal to, I know that 17 plus 47, is it? Yeah, 17 plus 47 is 64. So this can also be expressed as 17 plus 47. The goal is here. Can you see that in all of these radicals, we have 17, 17, 17. So now we can confidently replace 17 with a variable. Um, let me use x. So this is the same thing as x minus 8 plus square root of x plus 8. This is equal to the square root of x plus 47. We have just formed a radical equation. And we expect the solution to this problem to be equal to 17. Because we can clearly see that 17 is x. So if you solve this equation... Though it because it is a radical equation, you could obtain other solutions, but definitely one of the solutions must be 17. So in the next video, we are going to provide a solution to this to see whether we are going to get that 17 back. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. Stay tuned for the solution.